hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of t if we have t times of t times of t divided by t plus t plus t is equals to 8 and we solve this problem for the values of t so uh, here uh, we the very first thing we are going to do is here first we use the exponential law you know about that if we have uh, a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n or in other words you say that if the same uh, uh, base terms are multiplied by each other we need to add its exponents and you see here the base of these three terms are same so it means that we need to add the exponents of all of these three terms so when we add the exponents it will become say t to the power of 1 plus 1 plus 1 divided by here when we add the three same variable terms so we add the coefficients of these uh, variable terms and you see here the coefficient of all of these three terms are 1 so it means that this will become say 3 times of t is equals to 8 and uh, now here in the next step uh, when we add these three terms it will become here t cubed divided by 3 times of t is equals to 8 and in the next step we need to move this 3d to the right hand side so you see that it is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 8 and it will be written as t cubed is equals to 8 multiplied by 3t and uh, further in the next step we have t cubed is equals to 8 times of 3 becomes 24 times of t and in the next step we move uh, this 24 times of t from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as t cubed minus 24 times of t is equals to 0 and now you see here uh, both of these two terms involve t uh, so it means that t be the common term so when we take common t from here we get the remaining values are uh, so here we take common t and uh, here we get t square minus here uh, we get 24 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write t is equals to 0 and the second case is we write t square minus 24 is equals to 0 so for, uh, you see that this is our first root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this equation uh, so in order to solve this one we need to move this minus 24 to the right hand side and it will becomes t squared is equals to 24 so in order to find the values of t we need to take here uh, we need to remove this square sign from left hand side so for this we just uh, take square root on both of the sides so when you take square root on both of the sides it will be written as these two and the square root are gone and we get here t is equals to also you know about that when we apply a square root sign on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign on any one of the sides so we write here plus minus sign into the right hand side and now uh, we uh, focus inside the square root term so it is 24 and we write it as 6 times of 4 and further in the next step we have t is equals to plus minus we know that a square root of 4 becomes 2 times of uh, this is a square root of 6 so we get here the values of t is equals to plus minus uh, two times of square root of six okay so here we get three roots of the given equation one is t is equal to zero and other are these two okay uh, so here further in the next step we uh, need to verify that is uh, is these roots are satisfied our given question statement or uh, is these roots are solution or extraneous root okay so here uh, we separate a solution or extraneous root so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is t times of t times of t divided by t plus t plus t is equals to 8 this is the our given question statement and in this side we will be verified t is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verified t is equals to plus minus 2 times of square root of 6 so here further in the next step uh, uh, in order to verification uh, first we verify t is equals to 0 and when we substitute t is equal to 0 into the left hand side and it will become here 
0 multiplied by 0 multiplied by 0 divided by 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equals to 8 and from here we will get 0 divided by 0 is equals to 8. And you see here, uh, 0 divided by 0 uh, is a usually called that it is the uh, indeterminate form. So, if this is the indeterminate form or in other words, we say that uh, it is undefined form. If our left hand side is undefined, it means that uh, the value of uh, t is equal to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement okay because uh, it is uh, uh, because both of the sides are not equal okay so this means that uh, t is equals to uh, 0 be the extraneous root of the uh, given equation okay so this is the extraneous root and now we need to move towards our uh, second roots of the or other roots of the given equation so when uh, in order to find, verify the other roots uh, we just substitute uh, in first in order to first so in, in order to uh, before substitute this value of t here we need little bit simplification into the given question statement so here we write it as this is t times t times t becomes t cubed divided by this is uh, 3 times of t is equals to 8 here you see that this t and this are cancelled out by each other and we will get here t square divided by uh, 3 is equals to 8 and now here we substitute uh, both of these two values of t uh, into the right hand side and we check the behavior of this equation. So when we put these values here it will become uh, square of plus minus square root of uh, 24 and its whole square divided by 3 and our claim is that is this equals to 8 or not here you see that mm, our this value is equals to uh, this value is also equals to plus minus square root of 24 so here we just uh, uh, put uh, plus minus 24 on this left hand on the left hand side of this equation okay so here we need little bit simplifications and you see that uh, the square of plus minus sign becomes positive and this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here 24 divided by 3 is equals to 8 and you see that this is 3 times of 8 becomes 24 and we easily get 8 is equals to 8. This shows that both of the sides are equal so we finally conclude about the solution set of the given question is that uh, plus minus 24 square root or this is equals to plus minus Mm, 2 times of square root of 6 be the solution set of the given question so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos